Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. Come on up in here. Come on up in here. Praise God, praise God. All right, I'm going to wait till you guys get on. I think that's just a, let me see. Uh, yeah, that's better. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going to wait till y'all get up on here. I'm excited. I'm excited about 2021. Ooh, y'all ain't ready for me. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah to his name. I got to share so much with you guys tonight, and it's going. And guess what? Oh, hallelujah. May you catch fire too. I'm talking about when you get this revelation. Praise God. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Good. A good number of you guys are on here. Okay. So praise God. Let me tell. Oh, hallelujah. I I'm so full. Y'all don't understand. I haven't felt like this in years. I'm going to say it again in years. And I'm not exaggerating. Oh, I I'm going to testify first. And then I'm going to go into what God said. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the first of all. Hello, everybody. I'm so sorry. Y'all know when I get when I get like this, I'm full of the spirit that fast. Today is the 20th day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell y'all. The, the title of this is the church has lost its spiritual authority and God walked that thing because tomorrow I have a follow up video. So y'all, I promise you, please listen to this with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. So anyway, let me testify. Y'all know my uncle passed and a lot of things are going on and I'm being attacked like big time. I got attacked again yesterday. To, I mean, they just been pressing, pressing and I'm not going to lie because I got to testify. Hallelujah to his name. I got a little weak at one point because, you know, it just over, it was overbearing. I said, Lord, can, can I just grieve my uncle? But but they keep trying to hit and hit and hit. And I said, God, and hold on. I, I don't want to call names. And it was close. It was close. It was close. And I said, Lord, ooh, I got to watch it because you, you know when you, and I don't want to say. But anywho, let's get back to the glorifying God. Something happened yesterday. I remembered. I said, God, I don't understand. He said, yes, you do. He said, you're getting ready to go to that next level. Oh, I'm going to testify. I remember in 2015, 16, 17, and even 18, I, I was going through so much financially. And, and they were talking about me. They were laughing about me. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. And then I cut that hold. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no reason I should be in light. And then when I cut and I started doing them scriptures and I started doing exactly what he said, not, not, not 90, not 95, not 98, but 100. Things true, it changed, and I'm not bragging, I'm testifying. So, so anywho, he said, Dan, I got so much more for you. He said, But let me tell you what's really going on. He said, The enemy know that when you get to a certain point, oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, it ain't about just going higher in the natural. He said, The enemy mad because you're getting ready to go. I had a vision years ago in Sacramento, I think it was in 2203, actually, 203, 4 or 5, one of them, right? And let me tell y'all what happened. I was preaching in a church, the same church I was got trained in, to be honest with you. And I had white on. And it was so, oh my God, the glory of God was, oh my, as a matter of fact, I was singing. I was singing. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, I'm testifying. I was singing. And I went back like this and the glory shined through the church and everybody was laid. Hallelujah. I had to hear that came past yet. And, 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 and I never forget that. And then somebody sent me. Hold on. I never spoke it. I never spoke that vision. Then when I was in LA, somebody sent me a picture of what I just described and I never told them. I started crying. I said, I guess one day that's going to happen. Hold on. Let me continue to testify. As I go through the struggle of being attacked and everything, I notice on this fast, and that's why God purposes fast. It's not Deanna be like, oh, we're supposed to fast. Oh, look at the shirt. Fast, pray, and obey. So anywho, let me get back to the story. I feel the glory of God like I've never felt before. Everything has happened strategically. I got to go here and I got to talk it like I walk it. Everybody know about me and my dad. We haven't always gotten along. I, can I testify? Can I be honest up in here? Everybody know anyway, at least where I'm from. When dad almost, something happened almost three weeks ago. I don't even like to say the word. But I think y'all get the message. We both, it was a wake up call. I said, man, I almost lost him. We both respect each other more. Dad said the sinner's prayer. The glory of God is in this home. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So, so, so I hear the, I say, I feel the pressure. Oh, but I feel the glory. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand. I'm trying to encourage you tonight. So the enemy 
is trying to wear us out in this hour. We're living in Daniel times. He thinks to wear out the saints. Oh, he's been doing it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's been wearing us out. I just got to be real. And God said, Deanna, I need you in this hour. He said, I, I need you. And I'm going here. He, and and I don't, I've never testified to this part. but I, So I want you to catch it. That's why you can't put people out. He said, you remember when you was incarcerated? Oh, yeah, he bring it back all the time. I said, yeah. He said, do you remember how you survived them 18 months? Y'all, I was so scared. I can't lie to y'all. Because to be honest with you, I didn't do what they say I did. I just took the charge because I was in love, whatever. Everybody know anyway. But anywho, because I had never had no, 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 no record. And so they told me, they said, if you take the charge, you're going to just get a tap on. They laid me down. I was like, wait a minute. I want to call them. Everybody said, look, y'all lied to me. But anywho, I was so mad at God up in that cell phone. And cell four is when I caught the Holy Ghost. I caught the Holy Ghost in jail. And everybody that was on that, on, 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 on staff that night was, was Christians. I remember Sergeant Tyrone, Lafayette, Louisiana. So I, I said, what's going on with me? I, I said, why am I shaking? What's, what's going on with me? Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. And I changed. I started thinking. And I, I asked God, I said, God, why'd you, why'd you allow this? I don't understand. I, I wasn't trying to hurt no. I mean, I, he said, Dan, the way you was going, you was going to die in that foolishness of hanging with the wrong people. This, this, this for somebody, this for your children, this for people that's acting a fool. But God, God anointed me in that place where the guards started bringing other guards to myself and me to pray for them at two, three o'clock in the morning. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's why I'm so bold with it. It's not an arrogance and I don't care what nobody say because you didn't anoint me. You don't know where I come from. And that's when also the warden came to me, the warden. He said, I want you in Toastmasters. So I started testifying all around Louisiana in handcuffs and in chains to schools. That's when I started my ministry. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's why I'm so radical. Don't play with me because because you don't you don't know my story so let me continue let me continue i had three dreams as a matter of fact that's what my hands got anointed I, I i was in toastmasters right so i remember one night being in my cell and my hands was burning so much i didn't know i'm, I'm still a babe and i put them in between my legs and, and i was just shaking and they were burning like fire and so the next day i never told nobody because i'm still trying to figure out what that mean to be saved hallelujah so i never forget they had them uh, um over the toastmasters it was um greg and gerald i never forget i never forget them two anointed brothers um, anyway, Gerald looked at me and he said, Deanna, God anointed you last night and the tears just flowed. That's how I know the anointing real because God told him I didn't tell nobody because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And honey, it's been a journey ever since. That's why when I say thus said the Lord, I don't care if you believe me. He's been using me since I was incarcerated. And I didn't even ask. As a matter of fact, I didn't want to. Hallelujah to his name. So, so let me continue. He said, do you remember you was crying? I was so scared up in there. Them girls wanted to kill me. I ain't never told them this testimony. They wanted to, they a, and then it was so crazy because the guards put her in my cell. So I'm going to tell the whole story. So every night she would tell me she's going to kill me. And, she, and that's why she was up in there. She killed somebody. And I was scared. I can't lie. I'm going to tell you the truth because jail is where I got tough and bold. Anywho, I got tired of her. I rose up. Yes, I did. I told my hair was real long. I told my sheep. And I said, Deanna, you're going to have to woman up up in here because they think you're a punk. I'm just going to be real with you. All right. Honey, I told that she, I waited till she walked up in there. I slammed this. I said, let's go. Let's go. And she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, whoa, 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 what? What you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I started getting bold. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, I was scared. But anywho, I started getting my boldness. I started getting in them scriptures. That's why, I, that's why I read the whole Bible. When I was incarcerated, oh, don't worry, but this was in, this was in 1996, 97, you, you know, way back then. But anywho, let me continue. So, um, you know, I got anointed and stuff like that. And then, you know, I would have these days where I was so scared. I, and when they would close the, the, the eyes at night, I'd be crying. I'm like, I miss my baby, all kind of stuff, regretting who I was hanging with, what I did, whatever the case may be. And I never forget, God say, in order to make it, you're going to have to get tough. And I stopped crying and I started lifting them weights. And I started losing weight because I was about almost 200 and something pounds. I got real skin. I got to a size four. They said, you crazy. I said, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm lifting them weights. And then I started um, sometimes in the rain shooting basketball by myself trying to get the weight off. But, but, but not only that, I'm reading the Bible. I'm lifting weights. I'm reading the Bible. I'm lifting weights. I'm reading the Bible. Come on, somebody. I'm lifting weights. I'm reading the Bible. I'm lifting weights. Hallelujah. And then I got strong. Lord, hallelujah. They couldn't do nothing with me. They couldn't do nothing with me. My first sermon was in jail, Toastmasters meeting, 
Samson and Delilah. That's my story. God told me yesterday. He said, you remember when you was in jail? And you was about to break because you, you know you had to do, what, 17 more months? And you was like, Lord, how am I going to do this? I ain't never been in jail. He said, that's where you're at today. You got to lead a people that's scared and in jail, in bondage. Oh, they may not be not physical. He said, but they spiritual. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I said, God. He said, that's why. The enemy then came in. The enemy came in and showed us. You don't need to love each other. That's not the wonder. We're going to give you money. So, so we already took the love, so we're going to give you money. I got to do that video tomorrow. So we're going to give y'all money with no love. That's why people killing each other, acting a fool. Oh, when I do that video tomorrow, I don't want to get into it. I want to stick to spiritual authority. You better be tuned in. I'm telling him, I wrote down, he got some good stuff for y'all. Hallelujah. So he broke us down little by little by little. And then what he did is he put witches and warlocks over the flock. Y'all ain't ready for me. And stripped the church. Took the robes out. Oh, come on, somebody. Took the testifying out. Took the holiness out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Put the flesh in. Hallelujah. Put the lust in. Hallelujah. Put the competition in. Hallelujah. Put the titles in. Hallelujah. Back then, we just called each other sister and brother. Sister and brother. Sister, y'all ain't ready for me because we were sisters and brothers first. Hallelujah. So let me tell you how we're going to get back. God said, you better know your spiritual authority because it has been taken from you. And he said, how dare you let the enemy take what he gave you? Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. You better you, you better get it through this video because I feel it. So let me tell you the scriptures concerning spiritual authority. Number one, Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. I'm going to say that again. And over all the power of the enemy. But, 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 but he doing this. But, but, but God like this. But God, like, let me tell you something what I've learned. Paul was in jail. And he could have been bitter. He could have been like, wait a minute. I don't understand, God. Why you got me in jail? You know what he did? God laid that anointing on him in jail. And he wrote, what? Most of the New Testament. Oh, what am I trying to say? While you going through them tests, while you going through them trials, you better write. You better rise up. You better listen to God. Hallelujah. You better say, God, what's really going on? Don't focus on what they doing. Don't focus how they doing it. Don't focus why. What am I supposed to learn? What am I supposed to get? Who am I supposed to come? Hallelujah. What you got for me, God? What you got for me? Blessings, anointing, strength. Oh, hallelujah. The glory. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let me continue. He say, and nothing should by any means hurt you. That means the weapon's going to form, but I'm going to be with you. It's not going to hurt you. Just like Job. Oh, come on, somebody. If Satan messing with you in this hour, that's because you got power. Because he don't mess with nothing that don't got no power. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what he did, Job. He, 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 he stopped messing with Job. He said, what about your servant, Job? If you let me take everything, that's why some of you are going through. He, he went to God. He said, just, just, just let me mess with her. Let me mess with him. It, 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 I bet you he'll curse you. I bet you she'll leave you. I bet you they'll turn back and fornicate, drink, lie, steal. Hallelujah. And some of you do. You can't take no pressure. You can't take no pressure. You can't take no pressure. Hallelujah. Don't you know diamonds are formed in pressure? Hallelujah. So, 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 so that pressure. Oh, come on, somebody. It ain't going to hurt you. It's going to build you, said Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. You need to start telling the enemy. That's all you got. Hallelujah. Because guess what? If God allowed it, then that means he's going to be with me. He's going to carry it through with me. Hallelujah. And guess what? There's something. There's a reward at the end. Hallelujah. Whether it's natural or in the spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Matthew 16, 15, 19 says, he said unto them, but who say ye that I am? Do you know who you are? God said, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed are thy Simon Bajana, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my father, which is in heaven. 19. And I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. God said, where are the rocks in this hour? Where's the strong people in this hour? Where's the remnant in this hour? Because guess what? Everybody on entertainment you don't want that real stuff because that real stuff gonna expose you oh come on somebody every time i teach a class i say i need you to write your strengths and your weaknesses let me tell you what tests and trials do it expose your strengths and weaknesses for you to know you see god already know every last one of us he know how you're gonna do it when you're gonna do it why and 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 whatever what date he wants you to know you hallelujah let me continue 
You see, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Church, we got to get our, our spiritual authority back. Hallelujah. And he said, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth should be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou loose on earth should be loosed in heaven. I want you to catch what he said, loosed. What are you loosing in this hour? Is your tongue loose? Is your body loose? Is your, is, is your anger loose? Oh, come on, somebody. What, what did you loose or lose? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching up in here. Hallelujah. So let me continue. Let me continue. Let me go back. Okay, so also Luke 9 and 1 says, Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Y'all don't understand what they did? They, they, they brought in that medical field with that snake around it. Oh, y'all should have known that serpent. Because And, and I always, I, I was in the medical field for 14 years. I never understood why that snake was around that cross. Ooh, y'all ain't ready for me for real. Because there are signs and symbols. They're always trying to tell us who they are. But we like to play crazy. Oh, come on, somebody. The serpent was from the beginning to the end. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to read it again, 9-1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure disease. Why are we taking medicine for Micaiah, which is sorcery? To, to, you don't understand what I'm saying. The body is sick and God said, I'm trying to heal them spiritually first and then you're going to get healed. Let me tell you something when we go on fast. If you got anything and you go on a real fast, I've seen people don't have diabetes no more. I've seen people, whatever they had, they don't have no more. Because don't you understand? And let me tell you something what fast do. Fast is a detox, honey. That's why the enemy don't like us fasting. That's why when you're on a fast, he'll put your favorite foods. He'll put this. He'll put that because he wants you to break your fast. Oh, come on, somebody. I didn't been there. And then. You know, I I like to eat. I'm being honest with y'all. So it'd be a struggle for me. But guess what? I'll be doing. I'll be like, not today. Or oh, I still see that rib. Yeah, I see that rib. Mm -hmm, what? He is trying to break your authority at all costs. We, he, he didn't say if you fast. The scriptures say when you fast. That's why I printed up shirts. I don't. Let me tell y'all something. I don't ever just print up something for money. Never have, and I pray I never will. God be speaking to me. Hallelujah. Okay, let me continue. He says, Matthew 8, 18, Very I say unto you, whatsoever you should bind on earth should be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth should be loosed in heaven. You got to make sure what you loosen and what you bind in. Because death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love should eat the fruit thereof. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me continue. He says, Matthew 28, 18. I'm reading spiritual authority scriptures for those that's, that's joining us. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So guess what? The enemy can't do nothing anyway without God's permission. So if God have given permission over your life to be tested and tried, you better pass the test, said the Lord. Too many people fell in the test. Oh, it's too hard. I don't understand why the Lord allowed it. If he allowed his son, Jesus Christ, to go to the cross, how is it that we can't cross every day? And, it, and hold on, you will never get hit with the cat of nine tests. I don't think they're going to make another one because guess what? That would, that would just do something with the things of Jesus Christ, what he did. And they, God is never going to equate you to Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. So, and to me, let me, y'all don't understand what the cat of nine tells. Let me explain to you. That was that thick glass, not that little cheap glass we got today. That was that thick glass, and it was a sticky rim about it. And every time they, it would tear his skin and also cut him at the same time. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Let me continue. He says, Romans 13, 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that are be are ordained of God. Hallelujah. So God let them have their little fun right now. You know, the little people of the world, what they doing, how they doing. But you are not of the world, say God. Let me continue. John, first John 4, 4, he says, you are of God. Little children have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You better know your spiritual authority. Authority. I decree and declare right now that everybody that is looking, that everybody that will hear this, let me tell you something, that you are going to regain your spiritual authority. You're going to walk in it. You're going to talk in it. You're going to move in it. You're going to lay hands in it. You're going to cast out demons. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah in the power of God, hallelujah, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, I decree and declare to be so. May the fire of God encamp your hands. May the fire in God encamp your belly. May the fire of God encamp your feet. May the fire of God encamp your eyes. May the fire of God encamp your voice. Hallelujah. Blow the trumpet in this hour, said the Lord. Oh, I'm gone. Hallelujah. You don't see it. Y'all, y'all know when I get full of the Holy Ghost, my eyes get bigger. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Then he says, Hebrews 13, 17, obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they must give account that, hold on, hold on, that they must give account that you do it in joy and not with grief for that unprofitable for you. All those preachers and teachers that's doing what they're doing, they're going to have to give account, God, especially for your soul. Have they hurt you? Have they lied to you? Have they mocked you? Have they ostracized you? You don't worry about that. Too many of y'all putting your mouth on men and women of God. You're supposed to go to God and say, God, I'll leave it in your hands because God said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I'll take care of it. Can I tell y'all something? Oh, Lord, it's a dangerous thing to fall in the hands of the living God. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Oh, hallelujah. I'm watching it now. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Every time you resist that fool, he got to go. He got to go. Who got the real power? God. Don't you ever forget it. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's what's in the back of this shirt, by the way. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me for real. Because there's different gods and different little peoples. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Come on, somebody. He says, praise God, praise God. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You got to quit walking in the flesh. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every time you think crazy, you need to start talking to yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth, I don't think like that. I don't talk like that. I don't act like that. I don't walk like that. I don't move like that in the name of Jesus. Every day pray. Come on somebody. That's your weapon. Oh, come on somebody. What did Jesus say? He said, my house should be called a house of prayer. Where's the prayer? Because I'm going to be honest with you. On, on, on church service day, everybody there. When, when it's prayer, just a bunch of old ladies. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. I know it's true. And where's everybody? Oh, hallelujah. Let me continue. He says, praise God. Praise God. John 10 27 he said my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me oh come on somebody Genesis 1 28 and God blessed them and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth I'm gonna say it again and replenish the earth I'm gonna say it again and replenish the earth that means in the natural and the spiritual what are the world doing I'm talking about they overtaking the devil is a liar. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I feel the remnant coming. The remnant coming. We're about to be like the apostles. Oh, I can't tell you what God told me. When I'm going to tell you what really happened yesterday. God told me something he never told me before. I can't tell y'all. Y'all know I can't tell y'all. But, but if I could. Oh, hallelujah. That's why I, I, will, I ain't going to lie. I said, ooh, that's what you're getting ready to allow to happen to me. I will tell you this is another miracle. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all this. You remember when I told y'all about the angels being on this side and that side? All I'm going to say is visitation. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what he told me. Ooh. I said, I said, I said, I said, for real? I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen. But what I got to do? What I got to do? What love I got to go to, God? Because please, please let it happen, God. He said, please. Hallelujah. You don't hear me. You have to chase God in this hour. Ooh, hallelujah. Romans 12, 1, he says, I beseech thee, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. What are you doing to this temple? Y'all want to know why the body been sick? Because the hay is sick. I'm finna get myself together. Look, I ain't say finna. You know I'm from Louisiana. I am going to get myself together mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Hallelujah. Like you ain't never seen. He reminded me, say, remember when you was in California and you walked in so much power? He said, I admit I allow things to happen to you that kind of broke your spirit, that kind of did this. He said, but what you going to do about it? And that's when I say no more. No more, Satan. You ain't going to hit me and I don't hit back. Hallelujah. But through the spirit. Hallelujah. You can't fight in the flesh. You will wear yourself out. The weapons of our warfare are spiritual. Prayer and pressing. Prayer and pressing. Prayer and pressing. You got to be like tunnel vision. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you talk. I don't care how you walk. Ooh, I'll run through you. Hallelujah. This stuff real. This stuff is real, said Lord. Hallelujah. Let me continue. First John 3, 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. 
Point blank in the story, the scripture. For the devil sinned from the beginning, for the purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. God say it is a commandment. Destroy him. Hallelujah. Oh, and retreat not. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time. Why do y'all think I say, well, our soldiers, God is building us up. God is building us up. And we in war. We in war. Y'all don't see it? And guess what? It is time. Let me tell you something. I see the supernatural coming. Oh, y'all don't remember when Ananias and Sapphira died. From, uh, guess what? They were talking to Peter or Paul. I forgot which one because I don't want to lie. But I will say this. This fell down day. We're coming back to those times where the prophet and the man or the woman of God are going to be talking. And y'all liars, that's clowning with the Holy Ghost because you got to understand the Holy Ghost was inside of Paul and on top of Paul because the anointing. Y'all sitting up there playing with men and women of God. God is getting ready to anoint them as such. Oh, come on, somebody. Why you think some of them dying? Y'all think it's a game and it's not to glorify none. Oh, hallelujah. There's going to be more pastors dying. Y'all don't understand what time it is. Let me tell you what time it is. Judgment is in the house of God and everybody could get me, you, and even that dog named Boo. Y'all ain't ready for me, huh? That's why we've seen this stuff happen. God is purifying the body of Christ. And he says, that's my church and I will purify it. Hallelujah. That's why, guess what? Anybody could get it. You better do what God has told you to do or he will expose you. He'll make you expose yourself in this hour. Hallelujah, said the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I just got three more scriptures. So just one moment, maybe four. Mark 16, 17, 18 says, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Oh, Lord, I just lost them. Have you cast out devils? Hold on. Can you cast out devils? Because if you can't cast out no devil, then you don't have the anointing of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Church, 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 where you at? Because guess what? It's high time for just hallelujah. Oh, no, honey. It's time to speak to them devils and cast them out. Hallelujah. Oh, let me tell you about the apostles. The apostles, th this he had brought his son. And the man said, could you please cast them out? The apostles couldn't. And so they brought him to Jesus. But it, there was commotion because everybody started talking about, wait, wait a minute, if they followed Jesus, what's going on? And so Jesus said, what's going on? Because Jesus had just went to the mount and prayed. The son of God was praying. And, and hold on. Scholars say that he, Jesus used to pray five hours. And that was Jesus five hours. So anywho, let me finish the story. So he came and in one second, the devil was gone. So they eating at the dinner and they quiet because they feeling shame, embarrassed and whatever. But you know, Paul, Peter, one of them say, um, why couldn't we cast out the devil? He said, my son, this kind come out but by fasting and praying. You pray, but you didn't fast. Y'all want to know why y'all can't cast out demons? And even the pastor, the bishop, the apostle, and other, they ain't fasting. Oh, I got to break that thing down. What is fasting? Honey, when you really go on fast, that's consecration. No TV. No talking to your... Uh, uh, and, and husbands, wives, abstaining from marital affairs. Consecration unto God. Oh, hallelujah. You got to be holy. That way when them devils come, <sighs> nobody playing, telling you what we got to get to. Hallelujah. I'm almost finished with the scriptures. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I told you it was going to be heavy up in here, up in here. Hold on just one moment. I got two more scriptures. John 16, 3 say, how be it when he, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, but he should not speak of himself, but for whatsoever he should hear that he should speak and he will show you things to come. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, and you don't have to be a prophet. God is laying it on so thick in this hour. God said, you want it? Chase me. You want it? Consecrate yourself. You want it? Be obedient. There it is. Fast, pray, and obey. He ain't playing for everybody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. The last scripture. Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and shall flee seven ways. Wait a minute. A lot of y'all need to hear this because guess what? I hear it in the spirit. So many are coming against the children of God, your family, your friends, even your spouses. Y'all going to want to hear that thing about, about tomorrow. Ooh, that thing so, that thing deep, what he told me. I, I, I can't do it till tomorrow. That thing deep. Oh, my God, when he told me that, I said, oh, my God, this is true, because I remember going through it myself. 
I'm going to say it again, Deuteronomy 8, 7. The law should cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They should come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. I also want to talk about Elijah. Elijah was so anointed. Oh, y'all don't understand your spiritual authority. So I'm going to leave y'all with this. Hallelujah to his name. There were some kids counting Elijah. Nah, 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 boo, boo. Just, just acting crazy with the man of God. And some people, when that, this scripture, Google it. Elijah saying, he started cursing them. A bear came out the woods and ate them kids. Y'all sitting up there allowing people to do too much. You better speak what you gotta speak, and I don't care what nobody says. Scripture. Nobody playing with these demons and devils. That's what we're going back to. Let me tell you something how much there. I'm gonna go back to Anias, Anias and Sapphira. When they was lying. About their money that they purchased, which they didn't have to lie. Who was the authority? He said, For you have lied to the Holy Ghost, they should carry you out. <laughs> he spoke it and God granted it. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all better learn your spiritual authority and quit letting these devils mess with you. Because that's where I'm getting ready to go to supernatural. Where I'm going to speak it and it's going to happen. And I don't care who come against me. Hallelujah. And I'm being real. Hallelujah. I'm being real, real. Because I heard God say in this last hour. Let me tell you something. In the beginning, the church came in power. And I heard the Lord say, and we leave in power. Hallelujah to his name. These demons think they're running stuff. Nay, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the power of God up in here. And I'm going to pray that prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare everybody that's going to watch this, that they will get a sense of boldness, a spirit of boldness like never before, that they will speak what thus saith the Lord, that they will walk in spiritual authority, no more being timid, but have the tenacity of God, speak the word of God, move in God, hallelujah, cast out demons, speak to the demons, and let them know, go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for you have given us all power over the enemy. I decree and declare that they have power in their mouth, in their belly, in their feet, in their spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so. Oh, Father God, I just thank you. Hallelujah. 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 And I seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb by saying, Amen. 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 And I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and everything that's been false teaching, God is, is bringing it down. You women that don't want to step down as apostle, don't worry, you will. God is who I ain't the only one here about to do some stuff. You know, they had to never tell me that was just for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I ain't got nothing else to say. Oh, hallelujah. There is no such thing as I plead the blood of Jesus. That is not scripture. You can go ahead and Google it. Man, I say that. Let me tell you how you say that thing. I draw a bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because it's a spiritual bloodline. The enemy has been teaching us the wrong way because he don't want you to. But I'm finna teach you, finna. Y'all got to have to excuse me. I'm from Louisiana. We be making up whole words. It is time for you to walk in your spiritual authority like never before. And I'm going to show you. You ain't got to worry. Or oh, they been hitting me left and right. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to get off of here. I used to go to this church. Um, I forgot where it was. Ooh, I forgot. I think it was Sacramento. But then, no, no, no. Actually, it was my first church. How could I forget? Reverend Clovis Rogers, man in Louisiana, the first person to ever ordain me in 1996. Uh, I didn't know nothing. And I would, the, dev, the devil, he always did mess with me since I was 12 years old, truth be told. And I never forget, I'd be so tired because y'all know somebody can attest. Sometimes you don't know how to fight an enemy just beating you up, beating you up spiritually, mentally, physically. I mean, just you feel like you just want to, woo. And that man, that man of God, he gone with the Lord. Now, I love you, Reverend Clovis Rogers. What a man, mighty man of God. But I ain't going to lie. He used to make me feel some kind of way. He'll come here, look at me. He didn't want to get her and walk away. Oh, I was mad. I said, what you say? You heard me. He didn't want again and walk away. I would be so mad. Why that man messing with me? I said, so who is he? Who is he? The devil. I start getting strong. Hello. He won again, huh? 
I got tired of him saying that to me. I started getting in that Bible more so, more so, more so, more so, more so. This was after jail. I went back to it. I had read it all in jail, but I went back to read it. I, I read all the Ephesians. I wanted to, I said, I got to. That's how they used to roll back then. They were strong. They encouraged your heart with the truth. Nowadays, y'all don't want to take the truth. Y'all get mad and offend talking about who do they think they are. Hallelujah. I'm from that old cloth. That's the way I teach and preach. I love you to life, but I'm going to tell you the truth every time. And I'm going to hit you with the truth whether you like it or not. Why y'all think people don't like me sometimes? <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't play with me. That's why people don't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray that you take this video and you listen to it again because the spirit of God was all in me. You know how I told y'all when the God, when the spirit of God stopped, you stopped. My eyes not big no more. <laughs> I don't know why. I ain't the only one. If you ever looked at a true man and woman of God, when the spirit engulfed them, they it's just God. Whew. But wait tomorrow. Oh, that video tomorrow. This was good too, but I'm gonna hit y'all tomorrow. Ooh, that that thing, that that's gonna be one of the best ones ever. Because when God told it to him, I was like, "Can I do it tonight?" He was like, "No, no, no. You gotta tell him about the spiritual authority first, and then now I'm gonna tell you how the enemy got us." That thing gonna be so deep because it, it was simple, and that's how he come. See, he's so cunning. He don't come like people think. Grr. He comes simple. As a matter of fact, his move is like a serpent. Notice, see, some people direct, right? That's God. He, he, he play with you. Subtle. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. Ooh, so God bless y'all. God bless y'all. I love y'all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Something, something about to happen, y'all. I want to cry. Something about to happen. I can feel it. There's a shift. There's a powerful shift. The body of Christ is getting, getting strong in this hour. And that's why he comes so hard. That's why, because he think he, he thought he was going to just devour. Oh, but Jesus Christ is mediating. God, God, help him, God. God, God, send help. God, send our anointing. Y'all ain't ready for me. God will not leave us powerless. I just read y'all the scriptures. So now you just got to believe again, God says. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare that you believe again, that you receive again, that you know who you are, man of God, that you know who you are, woman of God, and you're going to have to start making some good choices. Y'all ain't going to be able to do what you've been doing. All that little freaky dicky stuff. Make up your mind. You're a man of God or you're not. You're a woman of God or not. Can't be playing and strain no more. I did it too. Don't I, don't I like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Cussing and fussing. and do, You ain't going to be able to do that. Everybody watch. You always being watched. And people don't believe you if you don't walk it like you talk it. Hallelujah. I'm going to get up out of here, though. I know um, divine favor. They're always freezing up the video. So guess what? Play it again. All right? And don't be talking to me about no freeze, okay? All right? Because I don't care what the enemy doing. I don't, I don't care. He will never stop the power of God. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. All right, y'all know what time it is. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> oh, Lord. What time tomorrow? Miss Leah, um, I'm going to do it the same time, God spare. I started at, hold on, I started this video 38 minutes ago, so it was like 7.15, I'm going to do the same thing. All right, so God bless you all. I'm going to put my cash out and be a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to be bolder, be a blessing, be a blessing. That's right, it's time for us to be a blessing. When somebody... And I got scriptures for that too. <laughs> Y'all know what time it is. Like it, act like it, move like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. What? God bless you.